This is MSJ Chem, in this video I'll be looking at ions. We'll start by looking at the formation of positive ions. Here we have the sodium atom. The atomic number of sodium is 11, which means it has 11 protons in the nucleus of its atom. By looking at its electron configuration, we can see it also has 11 electrons. Because atoms have equal numbers of protons and electrons, they are electrically neutral, which means they have no overall charge. The sodium atom can lose its outermost valence electron to form a one positive ion. The sodium ion still has 11 protons, but only 10 electrons, therefore it has a one positive charge. If we compare the electron configurations of the sodium ion and the sodium atom, we can see that the ion has lost this one electron in the third main energy level. This gives the sodium ion the electron configuration of a noble gas. Next we look at negative ions. Here we have a chlorine atom. Chlorine has an atomic number of 17, which means it has 17 protons in its nucleus. By looking at the electron configuration, we can see that it also has 17 electrons. The chlorine atom can gain one electron in its outer energy level to form a one negative ion. The chloride ion still has 17 protons in its nucleus, but it's gained one electron to give it a one negative charge. If we look at its electron configuration, we can see that it now has eight electrons in the third main energy level, giving it the electron configuration of a noble gas. Next, we look at the relationship between the group number in the periodic table, the number of valence electrons, and the charge on the ion. Starting with group one elements, which have one valence electron, they can lose this one valence electron to form one positive ions. An example is a lithium ion. Next is group two. Elements in group two have two valence electrons. They can lose these two valence electrons to form two positive ions. An example is the magnesium two plus ion. Group 13 elements have three valence electrons. They can lose these three valence electrons to form three positive ions. An example is the aluminium ion. Next, we have group 15. Elements in group 15 have five valence electrons. They can gain three electrons to form three negative ions. An example is the phosphide ion. Group 16 elements have six valence electrons. They can gain two electrons to form two negative ions. An example is the oxide ion. And finally, we have group 17. Elements in group 17 have seven valence electrons. They can gain one electron to form one negative ions. An example is the fluoride ion. By either losing or gaining electrons, all these ions have achieved the electron configuration of a noble gas.